Hey, what's going on guys? Rudelanel here, coming back at you with some more Python tutorials. Let's fire up idle and see what we can do here. I'm going to create a uh, new script. File.python. Type in a shebang line if you're on Linux. Create a new class. And, uh, create a constructor. I can test if this is the current script. Had a random parentheses in there, gotta fix that. Let's create a root object that is an instance of our base class. Now let's create a string variable here up inside the base class. Let's create a self.string, and we can set this to um, tab tab, some spaces in here. This is a new string. Okay. So now let's take a look at the function that we're going to be examining today. This is something called uh, lstrip. And what lstrip does is it removes all the white space characters inside your string that are at the front, that are at the far, farthest left position of your string. So what we can do here is, uh, is try and test that out. Let's print out self.string.lstrip. And when we run this, it says this is a new string. But if we had printed it out regularly, self.string, it displays the tab keys and a couple spaces. This is a new string. So what selfstring.lstrip does is by default will um, remove the white space characters, but you can of course change this to be anything else as well. Maybe we could change it to like any characters like Q, R, Z, and Q, R, Z, and S. Q, R, S, and Z, in our case, if you want to go in order. And that isn't going to remove anything, but if we had just some random uh, Q, R, S, Z, W, and that sort of thing, it'll remove none of those, because at the beginning you see there's this Q here, and that's not in our list of characters to remove. So what if we move this Q over to, let's say, the end of that string? We only get this Q here, and it's removed the R, and the Z, and the S, and the W, because those are in the character list that we're trying to get rid of. But the Q is going to go away. What if we uh, added a backslash T in there to see if it'll remove the tabs? And it will, but it, it still has those spaces to work with. So let's try and recreate this all on our own. What we're going to do here is uh, define a new function. We're going to call this left strip. And uh, we're going to need self and the string and then characters. We can change this to be uh, none, first of all. And then we can test if characters is equal to none, we're going to want to change this to an ASCII thing here. So let's go ahead and import our string module, and we'll change it to anything that is white space. Characters can equal string, and we should change the string that we're passing in, remember, to string to look through. Characters equals string, and then we can change this to uh, white space right here. Great. So now, when we uh, loop through a uh, string to look through, we can do for uh, character in string to look through. We can test if the character is in characters. And if it is, uh... We can, we can remove them. And the way we, we would remove them is, once again, creating a new string variable for. So we can do new string, create this here, and then if it's in the new string characters, let's see. Hmm. Let's try and see how we can do this, because if we continue to loop through this, and if we set new string plus equals nothing, That'll, that'll remove all those characters, all those white space characters, and then if we did else, and we added the character, it'll remove things that aren't at the front of the string, though. So we have to try and accommodate for this, and I'm thinking we could do this by counting. Because if we did this, string plus equals character, if we had ran that when, we, when we're done, we return this new string. If we print out, Let's say uh, self dot left strip. We can do self dot string here. We can run this and new string reference before assignment. Oh, we 
should set that to be nothing, first of all. I'm gonna get rid of this, uh, this one right here. <clears throat> See, what this does, it'll get through all the white space characters, but even if there are white space characters inside it, it'll still remove them, because we have these spaces here, and we're removing them, because we're only, because it's only, it's going through the entire string, and we don't want that. We only want that, uh, that first one. So what we can do here is, I'm assuming, create a new counting loop. Let's try and comment this out, and let's see if we can try and invent a new logic structure here. Let's do the let. Let's get the length of the string. It can be length of what we're looking for. String to look through. And we don't need a code block there. That's just absurd. So we can now we can loop through that one. So for i in range of string length. What we can do here is test if the character is in characters, is in that thing that we're trying to get rid of, or that ris the list that we're trying to get rid of. We can we don't have to add anything to that string. Plus equals nothing. But if not, then we know that okay something is wrong here. So let's do else. Let's see. And we can break out of this loop, though. And we're going to want to keep i, though. Because i is going to let us know where to begin from the next loop. And we're going to want to loop another time. So for k in range i in the string length. And then we can add all those things that we would have missed. So new string can add character, or I'm sorry, string to look through with the index of k. So let's give this a go. Global name character is not defined. Oh, I see, I'm sorry. If string to look through because remember we're using i to index now. We aren't using uh, we aren't using we aren't using character as a placeholder. So string to look through an i and if that's in characters, we can add something to it. So now, what this has done, is it's removed all the white space that's in the front of the string here. And this works perfectly because we haven't supplied a string, a uh, character's list to look through though, but we're going to get the white space string that ASCII has supplied for us. So if we do import string in the interactive shell, and we do string.whitespace, all the things that are in here are going to be removed by default with our new function left strip. But all these other things, even if it's in there after it, it's going to be uh, removed. So let's try adding a so adding a adding a parameter here, left strip, and then anything that's in our new qwrzs, and then a tab key, and let's leave the spaces though. Let's create a couple more here, and then let's do srwqz, and then a couple more z's, maybe an s in there. And then we can run this, and it has all these, but inside of our string that we've passed to it, it still only has the spaces, because what we've done is we've looped through it once, and when we've tried to get things that, uh, that are inside that character list, if it finds them, it will remove them by adding nothing to the string character, but we're still continuing that loop, or at least that position, with i. And then if we find something that isn't part of the characters, we will break out of this loop, and continue to go from another loop, starting at that same position where we left off as, and then we'll add all the characters that we found. So this is going to let us... Um, let's see, add to it in a different way. So yeah, it'll only remove the things that are in the front of the string or at that leftmost position. And that's how you set things up. So let's try it with the, uh, let's try it with the real string. Let's concatenate on here a new line, a couple new lines, so we can see what the original is and then what the built-in function will do and that sort of thing. So let's do, we set up QWRZS, and if we run this, they both display that same thing. So there you go, guys. Look at what we've created here. <laughs> this is going to allow us to uh, remove white space or any other characters that we supply inside our strings. And we've built this and taken a look at the function in our own way. And now we've gotten to something a little bit more advanced, so you can be proud of yourself. <laughs> but uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for sticking with me. I know this one is a little bit more of an adventure. <laughs> but uh, hey, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Goodbye.